Now we are going to learn how to build a corner freehand with a level. Just the job then. We're going to, if you've got a steel square, we can use that. Got a 1200 level, steel square, bolt level, a normal tape, a brick mate tape, jointer, treble, and a two foot level, 600 mil. That's what we're going to need for building our corner. You can see I've already got a corner set out here. This is what I use for the students. We're just going to imagine that this is still the floor. I'm just going to set our corner out here and whenever you're a bit lazy a joint you always want to bond over it with a brick so we're going to start this side obviously we can't start this side because there's already a brick there to get some mortar already using those troll techniques we've used hopefully you're a bit more practiced now so i'm going to start over here put in the right side just all those troll techniques we've used i know i keep repeating myself but just keep ingraining those good habits. Always back to your board for a bit more and any excess back on your board. So just clean up as much as you can. And then with that bottom bit, there we go. Just scrape until you've got a nice uniform bed. And then the first brick, just pick it up and bond it over that. So the, the idea is to just loop down that corner, you want it nice and over that corner again always scraping so you can see rubbing down scraping you know what a 10 mil joint looks like by now and always scraping your your return as well i'm going to check our gauge first oh, i can see that i've got a bit of a wedge joint so i'm going to tilt that back a bit And then the gauge right on the corner because this is where our gauge point is. So 75. Let's go down one mil. There we go. I'm going to get our bolt level on. Why it's our corner brick. This is important. Bolt level on. Two fingers on. Just into place. Level that. Level it both ways. That's good. Now we can match our bricks up to that now. Into the board. Flatten it. Down, up, right, right, left. If you need any more, like I just need then, put a bit more on. Pushing onto that. Get that wrist matched up. Cutting, collecting. Back on your board. Get that wrist matched up. And then we can level that through to our gauge brick. Okay, pressure on the gauge brick. Couple of taps into place and then re-scrape the surplus. I'm gonna check my brick length. It's four. It's not right, it should be 440. It's a little bit a little bit big. It's probably a mil big, so I'm just gonna up in the air, bring it over a touch. There we go, that's two bricks. We scrape that back down to where it was. And let's get our third brick on. Again, bottle this at the board, down up, right, left. Into place. Pushing down, scrape reference, get that wrist up, matched up. Get my level on, again, weight on these two gauge bricks. Adjusting that one into place, always in the centre line of the bricks. Is that good? Just a touch more. There we go. Let's check our brick length again. And this is our last brick on the course, so we can range it after that. That's perfect. Three bricks, 665. I want to check our range now, so I'm going to come from this bottom brick here and check our range. It's going over a bit. Oh. That's good. That's our point A reference sorted. Our point B reference. See that? There we go. And then we can range them in. You can see there's a bit of a discrepancy there. 
a lot really. There's daylight in between this here and then daylight here. So this middle bit what's going over. So I'm just gonna hold that in the middle of the faces, knock it over, clean my level first. So I can't see any daylight, rub it up to the top. See there. All making contact with the level. Scraping any excess. Now onto this other side now. Spreading that down those bricks. Always thinking about covering those materials and then furring that bed nice and even. Want it nice and symmetrical, nice and uniform. And then while we're at mid height, we can collect here like that. Okay, while I'm on this connecting to this corner. I'm laying forwards here now, so I need to butter the back of my brick and the front, because that's got no butter on this brick here. And then as I'm pushing onto that, I want to hold it for, so I'm not pushing it out. Get it down, scrape on the, on the board. So you can see the, it's a little bit big that joint. Get over a bit, down to that aris. Get my joint parallel in some way, shape or form. As soon as I think it's okay, get me level on it, get that down first, and then knock it into place. I'm gonna check that brick length. It's one and a half, it should be. It needs to go over a bit. So up in the air, and then down. You can see. The more we get used to the process, the more automatic things become. But it's just the same process repeated over and over again. Back to the board for a butter. And onto that, a couple of squeezes down to the aris. Scraping. The next brick on, level on, connect that one. Get back on the board. As soon as the connection's made, brick length. So we want two and a half. That needs to go over a touch. And there we go. If we've altered it a little bit, just get your level back on. Just double check. It's back in its original position. Doesn't need a butter. Push that into place. Surface mortar at the back. We can get our longer level on now. Get a clean before you put it down. Scrape your tops. That is, yep, that's good. Center. No. Just going to check. We're going to arrange that in. Last thing we can. Checking our level. It's just tilting back a bit. Let's check these. Okay, let's check that on that one. That's our point B sorted. That point A, that's moved a little bit. That's good, and now we can range them in. We might be able to do it with this. No, that's too short. And our long level, give it a clean. Get any daylight. That's good, rub it up to the top, no daylight. That's very good. That's our first course, sorted, range.